please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us start this video. Desperate Muslims love to tell you that the Bible is corrupted. They love to tell you that the Torah and the Injil of Allah are lost. Little they know that actually the Quran of their fake prophet is saying and confirming that the Torah and the Injil are still with us. So Muslims love to contradict the book of their fake prophet Muhammad. Little they know that the Quran says that we Christians have to judge what is revealed in the Injil. So if we Christians have to judge by the Injil, we have to reject your fake prophet Muhammad and your fake Allah. So Muslims, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. In this video, we're going to show you that Muslims have no clue when they attack the Bible and little they know when they attack the Apostle Paul of Christ, the Apostle of Christ. Because we are going to show you in this video that Paul is actually the messenger of Allah. Are you allowed to attack a messenger of Allah? Certainly you are not as a Muslim. Because you have to follow the messengers of Allah in Islam. So Muslims wake up and in this video we are going to explain to you that you should never ever dare to attack the Apostle Paul. This is chapter 5, Al Ma'idah, ayah 47. وَلْيَحْكُمْ أَهْلُ الْإِنْجِيلِ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ so let the people of the gospel rule according to what Allah revealed in it or judge according to what Allah revealed in it. Those who do not rule or judge according to what Allah revealed are the sinners. So if we do not judge by the gospel and what is revealed in it, we are sinners, we are not Christians. Because remember this is talking about the Christians because we are the people of the Injil, we are the people of the Gospel. But wait a second, if we Christians have to judge and rule but why the, what the Gospel says, we have to completely reject Islam and we have to reject the fake prophet of Islam. So Muslims, Muhammad here busted himself completely. He exposed himself in this ayah. So we Christians, according to this ayah of the Quran, we have to reject your fake prophet. Why? Because your prophet completely contradicts the gospel. So Muslims, your fake prophet cannot have a cake and eat it too. Here he completely exposed himself and he, here we can conclude that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet because a true prophet would have never ever contradicted and exposed himself. Muslims wake up and leave this satanic cult because Muhammad is nothing but a fake lying satanic prophet. Time to leave Islam. It's in front of you. If we go to chapter 36 Chapter Yasin, Ayah 14, it says, إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهُمُ إِثْنَيْنِ فَكَذَّبُوهُمَا فَعَزَّزْنَا بِثَالِثٍ فَقَالُوا إِنَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مُرْسَلُونَ And the translation says, when we sent to them two, but they denied them, so we strengthened them with a third and they said indeed we are messengers to you. Here if we read this ayah we don't know who these messengers are. Who are the first two messengers? And who is the one who is the third who strengthened the 
two messengers. Who is the third? And who are those messengers? Allah does not say because we know Allah is the worst communicator in whole history. So to understand this, we have to go to the tafsir. Right? And remember, the tafsir was created. It came into existence to defend the Quran and Islam. So to understand this ayah, we have to go to the tafsir. So let us go to the tafsir to understand what is happening here. This is the tafsir for chapter 36, ayah 14. To understand who these messengers are mentioned in the ayah, we have to go to the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. So let us see what Ibn Kathir says in his tafsir about this ayah. It says that the messengers were sent to the city of Antioch, to the dwellers of this town, which is nowadays Turkey, Antakya or Antioch. To understand who these messengers are that are sent by Allah, we need to scroll down and see what it, the tafsir of Ibn Kathir is saying. So, two messengers were sent and the dwellers of the town, they denied them both, meaning they hastened to disbelieve in them. Then, a third was sent, reinforced a third messenger was sent, meaning we supported and strengthened them with a third messenger. Ibn Juraj narrated from Wahb bin Sulaiman from Shuayb al Jaba or Jabai, the names of the first two messengers were Shamun, Simon Peter, Yohanna. So these are the two first messengers. Yohanna is John. So Simon Peter and John, Yohanna, and the name of the third messenger was Bulus, meaning Paul, the apostle Paul. This is his name in the Arabic. Bulus al Rasul, Paul the messenger, the apostle Paul, and the city was Antioch, as I mentioned earlier, Antakya. So, Muslims, you need to wake up and stop attacking Paul the messenger. Because according to this tafsir for chapter 36, ayah 14 by Ibn Kathir, Paul is the messenger of Allah. He is the apostle of Jesus and the messenger of Allah. So, Muslims, why are you attacking Paul, who is the messenger of Allah, and why are you saying he's the one created Christianity and corrupted Christianity? Shame on you for attacking the messenger of Allah. Are you a Muslim if you attack the messenger of Allah? No, you are out of Islam. So congratulations Muslims who are attacking the Apostle Paul. Keep doing that because you are not a Muslim anymore. According to this tafsir. Shame on you. Shame on you. Let me also go to the Arabic so Muslims cannot say this is a false translation. Let me go to the Arabic, original Arabic of Ibn Kathir to show you that we are not lying and this is a correct translation for the names of the three messengers. Shamun, Simon Peter, Yohanna, John and Bulus, the third one who was much mightier than the first two because he came to strengthen them. His name is Poulos, Bulus, Paul the Apostle. This is why we also Christians call him. We Christians call Paul Bulus, right? So let us go to the original Arabic of Ibn Kathir. This is the Arabic for Tafsir Ibn Kathir for the same chapter 36. Ayah 14. You see that? This is Ibn Kathir. This is what it says. And if I scroll down, it says, Qala kan ism al-rasulayni al-awwalayn shamun 
Simon Peter, Shamoon, Simon, Wayohanna, John, Waisam Athalith, Bulus, Paul, Bulus. You see, you heard it right? Bulus. So, Muslims, you cannot say that was a false translation. This is the same tafsir, but this is the original Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And it says Bulus. So, stop attacking Paul. And stop saying he corrupted Christianity. Shame on you for attacking the messenger of Allah. The messenger who is mentioned as the third much more mightier messenger who came to strengthen the first rejected two. According to chapter 36, ayah 14. This is the tafsir explaining who the third messenger is. It is Paul, Bulos. So Muslims keep attacking Paul who is the messenger of Allah be my guest keep doing that because you are showing us that you are nothing but illiterate people you are a nation of illiteracy clearly because you are always saying that Paul corrupted Christianity no Paul is nothing but a good messenger of Allah as you see so stop attacking Paul Muslims wake up either you're going to leave Islam or accept and deal with the fact that Paul is a messenger of Allah guys thank you for watching please download this video and share it around on your social media accounts. God bless.